Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing how to insert the Zen cape, or any other cape I suppose, on a beagle bone. And then I'll show you how to get it off safely without bending all the pins. So a beagle bone is a single board computer like this, with lots of I.O. connectors across the top and the bottom. Uh, the cape plugs in on top, in this case it's the custom built Zen cape, and you can see on the bottom we've got these two rows of pins that all line up. Now in this case we also have a connector here in the middle, the blue one, that is for doing uh, TTL debugging. So it actually ma uh, maps the pins here from the BeagleBone green, down the side there we can see it, those also connect, which is not a standard feature on most uh, capes. So to insert it we have to very carefully line up all the pins, so I'll show that now. We want to kind of make sure that we line up all the pins, not having any hanging over the sides, so I'll show you. They're all lined up, nothing's hanging over the sides. We see here that they're all lined up on both sides. This side's not in yet, so I'll just line it up a little bit better. There we go. Push on a little. And if you look down the middle, you can see that the uh, TTL, the debug pins, are also lined up with their header. And then I need to push it together. It's not sufficient just to have them touching like this. You actually have to push it down. It takes quite a bit of force to do that. So I push it in, and we can see how it goes and sandwiches in. There's virtually none of the pins visible. On this side, I'll show you the same thing. It takes, again, quite a bit of force to do that. And I'm doing this with the power disconnected. Do not do it with the power connected. OK, so that's an easy way of inserting it. Now, to get it apart, if you ever need to get it apart, it's a bit trickier. You have to kind of pry it apart, and you want to pry apart one corner at a time. So I'm going to start here, and I kind of use my two thumbs, and I kind of push them together and pry a little bit. And as we pry, we can see that the pins it separates just a little. I don't want to keep going in one spot. I want to keep moving around. Just do that one a little bit. Come over here, do this one. Then down here. And now it's all the way around a little bit. I'll just keep going. If I pry too hard and it comes out on one side before the other ones are anywhere clear, I can bend a lot of the pins, or even just a couple of the pins that are left which is why I want to kind of go around a little tiny bit at a time. Now you can see here, this side is now pretty loose, so that's good. I'm going to go back to this side here and pry just a little bit more. And we can see now this side is loose. If I were to just yank up on this, the remaining top pins would get bent quite easily. So I want to kind of wiggle it out, and they come apart. So again, do that quite, quick, quite carefully, and you'll be happy with a nice intact cape for years to come. Thank you.